Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we will see how we can do object detection on images and videos using YOLO NAS. YOLO NAS is the state-of-the-art object detection model that outperforms all the other YOLO models in terms of speed and accuracy. If you want to know more about YOLO NAS, key features of YOLO NAS, architecture of YOLO NAS, please check out my last video tutorial in which I have explained about YOLO NAS in detail. So let's start the code. So before running the script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU. To make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU, just click over here, runtime, and click on change runtime, and select the hardware accelerator as GPU if you haven't selected the hardware accelerator as GPU. Okay. So in the first step, we will install all the required packages. So I'm just installing Super Gradients, IM Utils, RoboFlow, and plus I am also installing torch info package so we just need uh, the torch info package if we just more want to print the architecture summary in our collab notebook so this might take a few seconds so we will wait and see so now the required packages are installed so I will just click on runtime and just restart the runtime okay so now after restarting the runtime, I will import the required libraries. So we just need from super.gradients.training import models library. So I will just run this cell and from torch info import summary so that we can print the uh, architecture summary. So we are importing summary to so that we can print the our uh, YOLO NAS model architecture summary. Okay. So just run this cell. Okay, so now we are just instantiating a pre-trained model. So YOLO NAS come with three different models. YOLO NAS small, YOLO NAS medium, and YOLO NAS large. So in this notebook, I am just using YOLO NAS large model. So you can see over here, YOLO NAS L. So it is basically YOLO NAS large model. So use the YOLO NAS small model, you just need to write S over here. And if you just want to use a YOLO NAS medium model, you just need to write M over here. So in this notebook, I'm just using YOLO NAS large model because uh, it has better accuracy than all the other YOLO NAS model, but it is uh, in terms of uh, speed, it is uh, slow as compared to other YOLO NAS models. YOLO NAS small model is less accurate, but it is the fastest. While YOLO NAS large model uh, is the most accurate, but it is not very fast as compared to other YOLO NAS models. And I'm just tracking the pre-trained weights of the Coco dataset okay and just instantiating instantiating the pre-trained model now okay so it might take few seconds uh, for that so let's see so now we have instantiated the pre-trained model you will ask large so now and you can see that here we have imported the summary library so now using this library summary library I will just print my uh, YOLO NAS large model architecture over here and here I've just defined the input size and column width and row settings over here. So just run this cell, it will just print out the uh, model summary in below over here. So you can now see, uh, just it might take few seconds to print the model summary over here. So now you can see the complete model summary over here. Okay. So now uh, I have just uh, using the summary library, I have just printed a YOLO NAS large model summary over here. Arch this is the architecture details or you can say simply it's a summary so this is the complete architecture details of your NAS model you can check it uh, it is a multi uh, it consists of multi uh, convolution layers sequential layers dense layer like this and value layers as well so now uh, after we have instanti instantiated the your NAS large model we have printed the model summary as well so now we will do inference with your NAS model so we will do inference on the image as well as on the videos as well. So using YOLO NAS model, we will uh, do object detection on the images as well as on the videos. So you can either pass uh, pass a path to the image file over here. Uh, you can just copy any image file path from internet and just add this path over here. Or you can just uh, download or upload any image over here into the Google Colab notebook. So first of all, we will just pass a path to the image file over here. You can see that I've just taken this image file path from the internet. You can just take any image file from the internet and just add the path over here. And using YOLO NAS large model, I am just doing the prediction. And here in the prediction, 
I am just passing the URL of the image file and I have defined the confidence score as 0.25. So all the detections will, which will be done or the bonding box which will be created around the detected objects will have a confidence score above 25%. So the objects which have a confidence score, so the detected objects which have a confidence score below 25, uh, the bonding box will not be created around them. And using dot show, I will just show the output uh, image into this Google Colab notebook. So now just run this cell. Uh, so this might take few seconds. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we are able to uh, do the to do the detections using your low NAS model. And you can see over here, we are able to take person, chair, bottles, bowels, and the person, TVs. And the detection results are very impressive. Like you can see that model is able to detect the small things as well, like bottle, bowel, cup, and so bot uh, cups, bottles, and persons, TV. So the detection results look impressive and we have a very good confidence score as well. Like for this person, we have a confidence score of 94%, which means the model is 94% sure that this uh, is a person. Here we have a 0.89. This means that the model is 89% sure that this is a person. And here we have the, uh, for the TV, we have the confidence score of 60, 0.62. So it means that the model is 62% sure that this is a TV. And if I just go below, so I have just placed a sample image into my Google Drive. So I'm just downloading the sample image directly from the drive into this Google Colab notebook. So I'm just, so I will just uh, up download the image from the drive into this Google Colab notebook and I will do detection on this sample image. So here I've just, uh, in the image path, I have just passed the image file path. So you can see over here, I just copy path from here so just paste this path from uh, over here so when we just download the image from the uh, down drive into this google colab notebook the image appears in the project file section over here we just need to pass the input image path over here and just add this image path over here define the confidence code and dot show to show the output image into this google colab notebook so just run this cell now so now you can see that here is our output image. We are able to take the backpack, uh, backpack, handbags, purse, bags, person. And now you can see that uh, these persons are very far, far away. Like you can see that uh, this person is very far away, but the model, this is the, uh, this is one of the feature of the Yolo NAS model is that it can detect small objects and small, uh, small objects as well while uh, in this is, this is the drawback of YOLO V8 and YOLO V7, YOLO V6 and YOLO V5 model that they are not able to detect small objects very efficiently. Also, now you can see that here we have a person. This is a far away from uh, the camera, but we are able to detect that this is a person using YOLO NAS model. So uh, this make uh, YOLO NAS model superior to prior YOLO models because it can detect uh, objects that are very far away or very small. But in if in the case of YOLO V8 or YOLO V7 model, we are not, we will not be able to detect that this is the person. But this is the benefit of YOLO NAS model that it can effectively detect uh, small objects, create a bonding box around them and label it. So now you can see that here we have a person also very far away. But using YOLO NAS model, we are, have also detected that this is a person. Now here we have a bus, we have also detected it. Here we have a traffic lights, uh, two traffic lights. We have also detected that these are the traffic lights. So YOLO, v a, uh, YOLO NAS model outperforms all the YOLO prior YOLO models by detecting very small objects that are far away. Like YOLO V8, YOLO V7 models cannot detect objects that are very far away very effectively. Okay. So now i am just download a demo video from the drive and do the detections on that demo video and see how it performs. So I'm just downloading a demo video from the drive into the Google Colab notebook. So here I have that demo video and here I will just pass the path of the demo video by just adding it over here. And output video path or output, my output video will be saved by the name detections.mp4. So here you can just write any name, but here I'm just in detections.mp4. So this will be the name of my output video. So I'm just checking if the GPU is enabled. If the GPU is not enabled, it will use CPU. So Google Colab provides free uh, GPU. So it's always better to take advantage and use the free GPU provided by the Google Colab. So now we are doing the predictions by providing the input image path and 
our output will be saved by the name detections dot mp4 okay so now uh it's doing predictions on the video so uh, plus i want to tell you the yolo nas model is also very fast as compared to the prior yolo model so now you can see that we are predicting on the video so it uh, works much faster than the prior yolo models like uh, the inference on the images and video inference speed on the image and video is very high as compared to the other uh, yolo models okay so now you can see that uh, currently we are using the yolo nas large model but the inference speed is quite high like you can see that predicting prediction on the video is done very effectively and very quickly so in the around it's 43 seconds currently and we have done uh, prediction around 71 percent so uh, within a minute we will be able to do the inference on this video as well and then we can display the output video over here into our google colab notebook so now this might take few more seconds okay so okay so now it's predicting okay so now you can see that uh, the time taken by it to do the prediction to do the object detection on this sample video is one minute three seconds so this is very much impressive that like this is not very much time and uh, the inference on the video is done quite quickly as well okay so after this we will be do it displaying this output video over here into our google poll app notebook okay so i have um, i'm just waiting for this to execute completely and then we can go ahead further so this might take few seconds okay so it's done prediction on the video is done so now uh, i have already displayed the output video over here so i will just download this video because if i just play it over here the screen size is small and we cannot see the detections very perfectly so i will just download this video and so i'm just downloading okay so it's downloaded let me just play this video and see how our detection results look like so now here you can see the output video over here so now you can see that we are able to detect that cars in the video feed, truck in the video feed and the detection results are quite impressive the model is able to detect the cars trucks like you can see here we have the truck the model has detected that it is a truck and the detection results are super cool and very impressive although you can see that here are the detections are wrong like these are not the cars they are the just the barriers but it's detecting it as a car but overall the detection results are quite good and impressive now let's move back towards the code so now you we will do uh, detections on another video so i will just download the video uh, from the drive into this google Colab app notebook and here i've just passed the input video path so now you can see that uh, here we have that uh, this video which i have downloaded from the drive into this google Colab app notebook so i will just copy path from here and just add this path over here and the output video path or the name of my output video will be detections to dot mp4 so here i have just written the name of my output video which is detection to dot mp4 and it will just check if we have a gpu available as it will use the cpu okay so now we are just uh, doing the detections on this uh, input video which we have provided over here and the output will be saved by the name detections to dot mp4 so just run this now and then we will see our output video as well so now you can see that uh, we are doing uh, predictions or object detection on this video so it's working with very quickly like inference speed in case of yolo nas model is very high as compared to the prior yolo models yolo v8 yolo v7 okay so now you can see that within 16 seconds we have done inference or uh, the object detections on this input video so that's amazing and the results look quite good so that's super cool and our output video will be saved by the name detections 2.mp4 okay so as it completes uh, our output will be, a video will be here and we will see the output video so this might take few more seconds okay so just waiting for it to complete so then we can i will show you the output video over here okay so my output video will be saved by the name detections to dot mp4 so this might take few more seconds to execute so let's wait until it gets complete and then i will show you the output video over here okay so just run this as well 
okay so it's it take few more seconds okay so it's done and we have done object detection on this video as well so i have already done this cell so here we have the output video so if i just play this over here the screen size is small and we cannot see the detection results very perfectly so i will just download this output video and i will just uh, i'm just waiting for it download so now i have downloaded the output video so i will just open this video and let's see what are uh, what results that we got so let me just navigate my screen towards this output video so now you can see that uh, we are able to detect the person handbag backpacks and the results look quite impressive like we are able to detect the person suitcase backpack over here handbag and so the detection results overall quite impressive so that now in this video tutorial we have implemented uh, we have implemented your nas we have tested the your nas model on the images and videos and we have done the performance comparison with the prior YOLO models as well. I hope you have learned something in this video. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.